I'm not hearing this. We wrote you. We're drowning in mail. You should have cabled. And have Veda's men intercepted? You'd be in prison already. As we speak, everyone from the Queen of Holland to the Emperor of Germany is trekking here to revel in a spectacular celebration of last week's grand opening of Jubilee Hall, an event you're now telling us eight hours before curtain never happened. We're dead. Let's not panic. It's not your head on the axe. We're facing 14 investigations. The better will be there with a legion of cops to haul us off the moment we Welsh. What's the delay now? Finishing touches, windows, doles, paint. Three weeks, max. You knew today was do or die. Why didn't your letter spare our heads? Hope, hopefully. One man can stop Veda. Prime Minister, he'll be there today with Veda. Oh yeah, he was a friend once. And may still be. Just three weeks ago, we received a warm but urgent letter from Gladstone asking for clarifications on the delays. It was a plea from a friend, seeking any means to exonerate us. We wrote back, explaining their predicament and begging for his forbearance. You sent me the letter to take to him, which never happened. Brilliant, we dissed the prime minister. I can still get to him before the show. Not a chance he bends now. All right. I'll face the crowd and explain. Then assuming Gladstone believes us, we do the show, pause the tour to let the choir rest, then knock out the last three weeks. That's not the plan. Translate. We wrote you. The South is under siege. The Knights have issued an all-out reign of terror on our voters. With elections around the corner, there simply isn't a day to spare. We need fresh revenue to finish Jubilee Hall. We booked the choir in concert halls all across Europe. Their continental tour launches today. You're out of your mind. You're seeing faces. Blot them out. They're barely alive. Benny's dying. Blot them out. Three weeks not possible. Don't tell me what's possible. We're here doing the impossible. There's no way. <laughs> then make one. Isn't that what you preach? And if I choose decency? <laughs> then damn you at a time like this. We're damned all right. You saw to that. You betrayed your people once from master, thinking you might be back in business. You. I never knew you. So, where's Kravath? Upstairs with the others. Others? There was something else in the letter. No. It's the final solution. The only way forward. You've got to see that. Will the others go along? Go along? They won't show up when I tell them. Then don't. Just get them to the theater. And when it goes down, they'll walk on the spot. Just leave that to Kravith. Your ship leaves after the show. I'll get back with you. <laughs> Julia Hayden. What about Julia? Assassinated by the Knights in your classroom while teaching your students. Oh, God, no. It happened months ago. The choir was already on the brink. We didn't want it to destroy morale like it did with Kravis. Julia's murder torments him day and night. He's gone half out of his mind, tormented with guilt. He hasn't slept for months. I've never seen him like this. Julia knew the risks, and she fought till the end. Will you? This toll is our last stand against the Knights. <sighs> Quit now, 
and you'll render her sacrifice meaningless. Quit, and the epitaph of hope forever bears your name. Just three weeks seals your legacy. Make up your mind which side of destiny you want to stand on.